What's up guys, Aiden here, Aiden's Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're going to be shooting the first ever Green Pop versus X Start video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is name, analysis, and manufacturer. And I'm going to call that product specs or basic information or something like that. And this is 16212. So it has 16% nitrogen, 21% phosphorus, and 2% potassium. And this is made by Green County Fertilizer and it is part of the next line. This is X Start. It is uh, 8244. It is made by Carbon Earth Company, if you're not familiar with them. They make Carbon X and X Green as well. And um, this is a 50 pound bag. And this is a one gallon jug, by the way. So that is all the basic information for these jugs. Okay guys, so we're gonna explain how long each of these products would last you. But for uh, in order for that to work, we have to talk about what a basic yard size. So the average lawn size in America is 5,000 square feet. So all of our applications are gonna be treated on a 5,000 square foot basis. So if you went the liquid route, your application rate would be 12 ounces per thousand square feet with the green pop. And if you went the granular route, your application rate would be three pounds per thousand square feet with the X Dart. It is important to calculate your pounds on the ground and find out how much exact nitrogen you're putting down and that get, gets into your soil per application. There are two different uh, ways we're going to figure that out today. One being with a two and a half gallon jug and the other being with a one gallon jug. So if you have a one gallon jug, you know that one gallon is 128 ounces. And for green pop, that is 11.1 pounds. So you're going to take 11.1 divided by 128 and you get 0 0.08. That's how much in your jug one ounce of product weighs. So then you're going to take your application rate, which is 12 ounces, and multiply that times your 0 0.08, which is 0 0.96, which is your total product needed to apply um, to your lawn. Then you take your total product needed which is 0.96 and multiply it times 0.16, which is your nitrogen, to find out that 0.15, and that's your total pounds in. So 0.15 is your nitrogen, and you would apply that every four weeks. It is the same exact math for uh, calculating a two and a half gallon jug, although it weighs closer to 27, 28 pounds, and it's 320 ounces instead of 128. Now for X Start, if you applied it three pounds per thousand, that is 0.24 pound in. That's just under a quarter pound of nitrogen. So if you applied X Start every six weeks about, it would be perfect. But if you want to do apply maybe like every two months, you can apply at six pounds per thousand, which gives you 0.48 nitrogen in, just under a half pound. So let's say you choose to apply X Start every six weeks at three pounds per thousand on your lawn. And if you have 5,000 square feet, which is our control that we're using for the average US homeowner size lawn, that would be 15 pounds per application you're gonna go ahead and put down on your lawn. So if every six weeks you apply 15 pounds per thousand, or not 15 pounds per thousand, 15 pounds total on your lawn, that bag would last you six months total. So six months at $64.95 a bag. Now say you went the liquid route with the green pop and you applied that every four weeks at 12 ounces per thousand square feet that would mean that 60 ounces total would need it be needed to treat your 5,000 square foot lawn so if you have bought the two and a half gallon jug that jug would last you five months at hundred and fourteen dollars per jug so I mean it's expensive for the two and a half gallon jug but if you go ahead and buy the entire seed starter pack 
it is not a bad deal for the same price. You get four one gallon jugs instead of one two and a half gallon jug of the same thing. So if that's what you're into doing and you wanna go liquids, that's the way to go. My lawn here, the front and the back, I'm not only going granular, but I wanna test out both. So both will get used this year. Now let's dive more in depth into the analysis of X Start and Green Pop. First, we're gonna go ahead and start with the X Start. That is an 8244. So that means 8% of your bag is nitrogen, 24% of your bag is phosphorus, and 4% of your bag is potassium. It also has a 8% sulfur and 2% zinc. That product is made with biochar and chicken manure, basically. I'm not gonna sugarcoat what it is. It's a great product and uh, it definitely smells like success. <laughs> um, the next product, the next product, haha, -ha, I gotta stop making that joke and stop saying that. Anyway, um, that is Green Pop. That is a 16-21-2. So 16% of your jug is nitrogen, 21% of your jug is phosphorus and 2% of your jug is potassium. Now any other active ingredients are there is a 3% humic acid and a 1% cold water kelp. These two are both extremely incredible products that I'm going to be using on this yard this fall so stay tuned for more updates on those products this fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that I'm Aiden from Azel and Landscaping. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. By the way, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you're here for more of the landscaping stuff, I do apologize. I've been really busting out all the lawn care stuff because it is fall renovation time. My landscapers, I'll have plenty of content coming for you this fall. I apologize for that. Stay with me. I've got stuff coming in a few weeks. Stick with me, boys.